I don't know what bro or ESO is. Klarna rings a bell. TurboTax, uh, fuck Inuit for making and keeping uh, filing your taxes hard. Uh, Hondas, not a fan for Toyotas. Toyota Camry. I had a bad experience with Honda Civics. US Air Force, um, well, if you had to choose a branch, but I don't know. You're, you're, no matter what military you go into, you're sacrificing your body. Oh, Elder Scrolls Online. You know what, that makes sense. Man, I don't even like being in the same room as this whatever it is. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies. I thought you were supposed to be the brave one, Jody. I'm way out of my league of this caliber of magic. I'll just leave this sort of thing to Claire. It weirds me the hell out. Must be some kind of... Core? The last dungeon just vanished when we accidentally broke the other one. Looks like my services are needed here once again. As much as I'd love for you to smash this thing, Allison, we should keep looking for Javis first. Good thinking. And while we're here, let's see if we can find any info on this core. What is this, my lit RPG? Welcome to you. So this is the Varena Empire Reality Scrambler. Um, I prefer my realities um, not scrambled. I'm more of more of an omelet reality enjoyer. You know, I, I, I like them to be nicely folded together. Let's see, Reality Scrambler utilizes magical energy graciously given to us by our leader, Her Royal Highness Queen Verena, to shape reality. Hmm. The fabric of the universe is broken down into pieces reduced to its purest form, and rearranged into a new shape. Prefer my reality sunny side up. And it's that, that kind of heliocentric uh, reality just doesn't jive uh, with most other uh, observed realities these days. <laughs> As the Scrambler continues its operations, the radius of effect will continue to expand into neighboring areas. With enough energy and time, a network of Scramblers can rewrite an entire planet, solar system, and beyond. Please make sure to watch your step around Scrambled Matter in the facility. Have a nice day. Okay, holy crap, I've heard enough. I don't care what Jabez's motives are, this thing is bad news. This shouldn't even be possible, right? Magic can do a ton, but it can't do all this. Yeah, this is a lot. I've never heard of this Queen Morena, but she must be an incredibly powerful being. Maybe the computer has some more information? Like, what do these people want with all the Sapphire Islands of... What do these people want with the Sapphire Islands of all places? Are we just a random target? Um, computer, what's the current objective? Access denied. Of course. Well, hey, we've still got that meeting to sneak into, right? It's almost noon. Let's head over there and see what info we can find out from Javis himself. I do like this whole thing of, of reality sort of stuff. Um, I, I ran an a RPG campaign once that used Evangelion, and because I like over-engineering things and overthinking things, um, part of my thing is like the, the angel, the core thing of Evangelions. A, I ruled it as more of like a interdimensional spacesuit. So like these entities in their in their reality, rules, physics, everything is different. And when they come into our reality, they need a basically a spacesuit for a localized like bringing their rules of reality with them. So whenever you break the sphere, you know our reality imposes itself upon them and basically destroys them. Um, mostly because I was trying to do a big thing about entities ascending to higher existences. All right, <clears throat> I need some water. We're gonna have a lot of dialogue, I bet. This must be the place. Perfect. It's eleven fifty-nine. Java should be here any second. Come on, let's blend in the crowd and listen in on this. Hello, my dear minions. 
thank you for coming to this mandatory meeting. The crowd does seem a bit thin, though. I'll have to give those stragglers a stern talking to. Well, no matter. Now, it's come to my attention that some of you have absolutely no idea what you're doing. As such, I have prepared a brief presentation on our mission. Our primary target in this dimension is the planet Reverie, which you are currently stationed on. While this planet may seem unremarkable, it is a place of particular interest to our leader, Her Royal Highness Queen Verena, for reasons I won't get into. In particular, Queen Verena has her eye on a nearby archipelago known as the Sapphire Islands. These islands have a low population, which should pose a minimal threat. Most Excuse me. Mostly comprised of these bipedal mammal things. Baffling creatures. Woodland beasts are not meant to be six feet tall. That's irresponsibly large. The mere thought of their reckless anatomy makes me shudder. Because their bodies are covered in a layer of hair, I've decided to give them a little Nicholas name. I refer to them as Harry's. I'm being noticed! To the Harry, we've set up a three scramblers in key locations around the region. One is here in the Neon Labyrinth. You've undoubtedly seen it. Everything around you is its handiwork. Our primary scrambler is set up to the north, atop the tallest mountain on the main island. This will soon serve as our new home base. Now, some of you may have heard of rumors of a meltdown at our third location, hidden below a town named... Er, green something. But rest assured, we have not deviated from the plan. As we speak, the scrambler is being repaired. If all goes well, the town will be under our control in mere hours. What? Guys, we have to get back to Green Lake pronto. Not just yet. We came all the way to find Jarvis. We need to hear his whole plan. Oh, this whole operation is going swimmingly! And Varana will just be so proud of me for what a great job I've done this time. Yes, I know many of you have heard stories of my failures in other dimensions. Those operations were... regrettable, to say the least. But this time, we have some additional help. You see, we have an undercover operative on Reverie. A liaison who knows the area like the back of her... Paw? Do they have paws? She is an exceptionally skilled and ambitious beast who I knew would be a great addition to the team. Please, everyone give a warm Verena Empire welcome to our new compatriot. Guys, that's the person I followed out here. Say hello, Paula! Hello, Paula. What? Keep it down. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all. So, uh, hi. Glad to be here. I think there's a lot I can bring to this team. You know, my last gig didn't offer Daniel or anything, so you guys are definitely a step up for me in that regard. Dude, that's my co-worker up there. I knew she was a jerk, but I didn't know she was full of evil. This is bad. This is very bad. Well, uh, I'm really excited to be out doing some pummeling for y'all. There's a lot of folks around here I could, who could use a pummelin or two. I'd also like to. Okay, that's nice, Paula. Lovely speech. Anywho, I'm even more excited to introduce everyone to someone else today. Oh, I can hardly contain myself. I'm so proud to introduce you to all your commanding officers, my boys. Everyone, meet Bigby, Killer Ray. Clinston and Roy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Howdy. I've made them myself using fragments of my own life essence. They're my pride and joy. They're my sons. 
Please be sure to be nice to them and lavish them with praise, everyone. Some may accuse me of nepotism for putting my four sons in charge, especially when they are mere days old. To that I say, I do not care. Please do not dote on us so heavily in front of the minions, father. Sorry, you're right. As much as I'd love to espouse the virtues of my four beautiful boys all day, there's one more person I'd like to draw your attention to. There's one person who made today possible. Well, other than myself and Verena, of course. Why, she's so instrumental to our plan that I even bothered to learn her name. This is Claire Higsby. Claire may not know how much help she's been, but we truly could not have done this without her. It was a certain spellbook in Claire's possession that caught our queen's eye in the first place. And it was Claire who summoned us here. Oh, you're not kidding me. Claire, what did you do? Nothing, I promise you, I didn't. In fact, why don't we thank Claire and her companions in person, hmm? The jig is up! Shit. Oh, you must have felt so sneaky. Oh, look at us, listening in on Jarvis' meeting without him noticing. You dimwits! Of course I've known you were here all along. This whole base? A mere distraction? We did all of these desert shenanigans to lead you away from your precious little town and keep you from interfering with our mission. And you fell for it. Okay, buddy, we've heard about enough out of you. We're not just going to sit here and let you destroy Green Ridge. Green Ridge, that's it. That was the name of your town. Sir, let me take them. I've been dying to prove my worth around here. No, you're needed back on the surface, Paula. We can let someone else dispose of our uninvited guests. Nah, if you insist. Hey, Galetta, do me a favor and don't kick the bucket before I get a chance to thrash you. Paula, how could you side with these guys? I have my reasons. Someone like you wouldn't understand. I'll see you losers back in Green Ridge. Although, you might not recognize it when we're done with it. My boys and I also have places to be, I'm afraid. I'll leave you with this as a parting gift. Gumball Goliath. Ooh, all right. So, always try and steal from the boss. Um... We are going to... Let's see elements first. And while we do that, we're going to put barriers on our people. See if we can find an elemental weakness. 500 gold! God damn! Then gumballs be worse! Okay, definitely not fire. Aww, look at this little guy! I couldn't hurt him! I mean, I will, but, you know, I hesitated for a second. Spicy gumball guy. You know, when I think of gumballs, I don't think of spicy. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, we're going to speed up Allison, and we'll give her a lightning blade. Gotta go fast! Gummy ball dishes out a sick burn. Well, that's rude. Critical hit. 13 damage. Okay. Ow. Is that gumball flipping me off? Sour gumball guy? Oh, that's rude. Oh, you know what? You're right. Cinnamon gumballs. Yep, yep. And now we have a sour patch gumball. Put all the buffs on Allison. <laughs> this banding chain. Eh. I don't, I don't think Allison has enough buffs. Do you? <laughs> all right. What's this one? What's the what's the what's the machinery <laughs> gummy? Chili Gumball Guy? Oh, it's probably gonna try and freeze. 
Um, where is... Poisons and Burns. Hey, welcome on by, Lissy Dragon. I hope you had a good stream, makers and crafting. Ooh, what were you making? If you don't mind sharing, but if you got a rain and run, that's no problem. Streaming is some pretty tough work. At the very least, I implore you to stand up and stretch. Spinosaurus plush had to stop. Oh no! I hope it's not too bad. And this is a toxic gumball guy. Oh yeah, we, we can't have any toxic gumballs in our life. Plushies are amazing, so it's it's pretty cool to be able to make your own. I miss having a uh, a giant plushy like pile. Oh shit, Allison! Oh man, is there gonna be a gumball every round? Hmm. Okay, we need to do that, Allison. Hmm. Attack that. Claire, I want you to Chrono Boost Allison. Jody, let's give a Flame Blade. No. Actually, yeah, give yourself a Flame Blade now that I think about it. Well, that's just a small, small crit. We are, uh, playing, uh, ah, <laughs> what? Yeah, if you don't know, this is Slarpg, Super Lesbian Animal RPG. It is very cute, very gay, and very amazing. Um, I think this is the boss. I think we are at the boss of, um, <clears throat> of Act 2, perhaps. So we may not be going for a ton longer. Whoops, I didn't mean to go back twice. You know, may not be going for a ton longer. Although this looks like this boss battle is going to be a bit of a slog. Ah, uh, really? Because I was expecting boss and then some, like, middle act, uh... Dialogue, sort of like how Act One and Act Two, Act One had at the end of it. Um, I need to cure. I need to do a round of curing these debuffs, don't I? Um, we'll do that, Allison. I want you to use poison. So cure yourself with poison, Claire. I want you to scorch the chili gumball. Jody, I want you to attack. No problem, Lissy Dragon. Have a good eat and a great rest of your day. Well, or great rest of your week. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty late. Hmm. We're getting pretty low on some auras. So I'm going to go ahead and restore while I have a chance. And let's... What if I... Right jab the Gumball Goliath. Claire, do multi-scorch. Get rid of all of them. And let's try and... Kill both of them. Of course, they got to poison off before we can do anything. God damn it. Man, these gumballs. Hmm. This is not great. I need 
I need to have given that multi-attack to uh, Allison. Or to someone, at least. Uh, I think that would be good. And let's get Flame Blade to Allison. We need, to, we need some AoE heals. It will also counteract any poison and burn debuffs. But kind of want to see if we can focus on burning the enemy. Oof. 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 Okay, so if we heal everyone, we have Allison. Um... Uh, let's blink that and multi scorch to hit everything. Let's give Jody. You know, let's... Yeah, binding chain probably won't go last, so that'll be useless. I'll just give Jody the fire sword as well. Allison, I need you to cure the poison off of Claire. Claire, I need you to... We already have time heals all wounds, so everyone's getting a little bit of health. I think we just need to scorch and try and kill these fucking gumballs, because uh, I'm kind of letting them pile up, and I'm a fool. Ah, shit. How much else does the boss have? Fuck, we're not even at half health. Alright. Let's bring... Let's Phoenix down Claire. Let's finish off Spicy Gumball. And... Do some damage to Poison Gumball. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I just brought her back. I should have been using Brazilian Aura. Blood and Ashes. I am a fool. Um, alright, so I'm not going to be attacking the boss for a bit, so let's try and use Binding Chain on it, and see if we can get a breather. Oof. Chain. Alright. Okay, so... Hmm... Heal everyone. Allison, revive Claire. Jody, imbue Allison. Oh, slag me. Claire doesn't have the uh, resistant to effects, does she? Fuck. Okay, we need to kill the yellow one, because that one's dealing a whole fuck ton of damage. Allison up, we will dive bomb the yellow and scorch the blue. Jody will let's attack the yellow. We gotta make sure it dies. There we go. Shit. Oh, this is not good. This is very not good. Oh, this is so not good. 
Okay, so I think she can kill that one. I'll leave Allison to kill Toxic Gumball. Claire, I need you to multi scorch. Jody, I need you to attack Spicy Gumball. Oh, why are they faster than me? Uh, I fuck I fucked up on on managing the ad. I, I forgot to subtract the ads, and now they're uh, uh, kind of put in a bad situation. All right, we need to do AOE heal. Allison, I need you to finish off Spicy Gumball. Wait, what's with Claire? Claire, I need you to... Hey, okay, hold on. Melody, heal yourself. Allison, spicy gumball. Claire... Um... Eat a chocolate bar. Jody, um... Also, eat a chocolate bar. Actually, I don't... We have something less than that. Nope, yep, chocolate bars. What we need. Alright, alright, alright. I need to reapply Brazilian Aura. God, does it ever run out of fucking gumballs? Ow. All right, we killed it. Good shit. Oh fuck! It dropped our healer. Oh fuck! All right, Claire's gonna have to do our Phoenix down because she's almost out of mana anyway. I'm gonna do another dive bomb for Chili so I don't leave him around. Jody, I want you to really don't have a lot. I can, I mean, I can basically, I guess, use taunt. Over here, dummy. All right, good shit. Um. Need to heal even more. Um, actually, Allison, I want you to buff Melody, so give her a smooch. Claire deals more damage at lower HP, never misses. Oh, that actually would have been a good move to be using. Sucks to be me, because I am a potato. I am Potat. Um, so she's going to be receiving more attacks. Let's put her in counterattack stance. Stop attacking my healer! Uh, definitely need to heal. Allison, we can give you... Fan the flames. Probably good. Um, running out of mana, so we will boost Jody's attack. Jody, I want you to. Crab cakes. I really need to give mana to Claire. Do I have something that gives MP? Mega Ether. Um, let's use a normal Ether. really do need to cure her of... Uh... Oh, Resilient wore off. Uh, let's fix that. Resilient Aura. Shh, don't have any special. Shit. Skill. Multi-Scorch. 
Alright, so we can at least kill the... this gumball. Of course. Of course the status effect goes through. Why wouldn't it? Fuck yeah for the counterattack. But we need more star power. I wish I could donate star power to Claire, because like I, I've been using her AoE like pretty much off cooldown. Um, I need, I need mana. Allison, I need you to chug a carrot. No, you have less HP than needed. So eat and chocolate. Nope. Never mind. Guess you're eating a carrot. This feels a little stereotypical, but it is what it is. Time heal some wounds? Actually, yes. That's very good. That'll help offset the poison and fire that's currently kicking my ass. Oh, please do not die. Come on, come on! Ow. At least they're not freezing. Alright, the enemy's getting low, the enemy's getting low, we got this, we got this. We just gotta hold out. Just hold out a little bit longer. Um, for Aura's magic recovery. Actually, no. Decent amount. That's probably more than, what is it, 60 that it was giving me? Yeah. Claire. Uh, do not have multi-scorch. Yes, you do. You just don't have the mana for it. Fine. All right, I think I think we're in the I think we're in the end game. I think we got this. Come on, come on! Damn it, Nagos! Why are you gnoming me now? We're in the middle of a boss fight. This is not the place for gnomes. <laughs> You're gonna get them killed. <laughs> Always the best place for gnomes. <laughs> I suppose I could use the gnomes as some kind of, uh, like, damage absorption. Uh, let's use payback time. I'm gonna see how much damage that does. And let's taunt again. Oh, holy fuck, Claire! Hell yeah! All right, with the gnome power, I think I think we can finish this off. I think we got this. Melody, uh, give him give the gumball a tap. Allison, low kick the gumball. Claire, multi scorch. Jody, stab the chili gumball. Blink. Now there's just a tiny gumball left. Let's punt it. 2,000 experience. Damn. Re now, now I learn revive. God's damn. Lightning kicks. Oh, 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 cool. Crack in the armor. Oh, wow, that also probably would have been nice. I feel like I just fought this boss on hard mode unnecessarily. Well, that's one problem taken care of. Claire... Is there something you're not telling us? What did Javis mean when he said you summoned him here? I don't know. Maybe he's just lying to drive us apart. He seems to have a thing for mind games. Claire? I'm serious. I... Oh my god. The basement dungeon. They must have hitched a ride somehow when I summoned those dark magic constructs to train you two with. I knew it. I knew that whole plan was bad news. You think everything's all fun and games. But now look at the mess we're in. God, 
We never should have done any of this. That shouldn't that, that shouldn't be possible though. I told you before, it should take a lot of mana to summon someone like Jarvis, and I barely used any energy when I summoned the dust bunnies. My spells must have been tampered with or something. There's no way an untrustworthy spell would be in there normally. Sure, because you're always so careful. I don't know. It sounds like they were targeting me because of some spell spellbook I own or something. Guys, you have to believe me. I would never do something like this if I thought it would be there was even the slightest possibility it would go this bad. Melody, you believe me, right? Claire, you can be reckless, but you're my friend. I wouldn't be here I wouldn't be here with you if I didn't trust you. I don't think you would do this on purpose. But no matter whose fault it is, we need to do something about this. Yes, everything is still okay. We're going to fix this. We just need to run home and rally the troops. Warn Faith and the Paladin Brigade that a fight's coming. May even get the help from the Leones. Anyone. There's still a chance we can minimize the damage here. Come on, you guys. Come where, exactly? There's no exit. Hey, ease up on Claire. I'm sure she has a plan to get us out of this, right? Uh, yeah, just... Give me a second to think. Wait, the purification spell I learned at the basement dungeon. Maybe I can clear a path here. There we go. Nice thinking, Melody. Come on, work. Please work. I think the goddess book that she awakened Melody and um, Allison with is the book that they, they were drawn to. I'm wondering if Queen Verena is maybe like a jealous sister of the goddess that they're all worshipping? That would be kind of interesting. No, 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 come on. This has to work. Hey, don't push yourself too hard there, Mel. I'm giving this one everything I've got. There, come on, let's get out of here. And definitely save after the boss fight. Hey, how goes the adventuring? Very, very bad. But it looks like we're done here. If we smash this machine, then everything, everything should go back to normal. Real? Wow, nice work. You know, if I had my doubts about you at first, but thanks for everything you've done to help out Mumford. Seriously. We'd love to stay in chat now, but now we've got an emergency to take care of back home. Oh crap, sorry. You really ready to return this place to normal then? Wow, wow, wow. Come on, let's book it back to the teleporter we used to get in here. Get back to Green Ridge. We've got to warn everybody. All right, Dancing Cactus, I don't got time for you. I've got a town to save, and enemies to dodge, and fail to dodge. All right. Um, I have like no. Oh shit! Melody has like no mana. Well, okay then. We'll just give Allison speed up. Jody, give her ice blade. I, one part of me wants to flee, but I kind of need the experience, because I haven't really been farming, and that boss battle would have been really easy with one more damn level. Alright, one more smooch should give two star power, and then she can, uh, restore MP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you kind of want your healer to have mana. Alright, 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 good beans. Nope, nope, run, 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 run. Ah, I can't catch us. We're too fast, too fast. Um, I think it's north from here?
What? No, 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 no! The teleporter's been smashed! How are we supposed to get home now? Okay, this is bad, but let's not panic, Mel. Allison, what about your mom's car? Could she give us a ride? That's a two-seater. That's not gonna work. We should go talk to Ipsy back in Mumford. She knows a lot about machines, so maybe she'll be able to fix the teleporter for us. Alright. Compulsive save disorder? Have you or a loved one compulsively saves their RPGs? Good. That's what they should be doing. Um, I think Ipsy was here... Oh, hey, Jody. Ipsy, we need your help. You two know each other? I'm the one who made that gizmo Jody used to fix the griff. Cliff. Thanks for your help with that, by the way. Now, what's up? Our town is in danger, but the teleporter we used to get here has been smashed. Think you can fix it? Well, yes, but it'll take a while. Sounds like you don't have time to spare. Hmm. Oh, you know, there's a second teleporter that leads to a different spot on the Sapphire Island. It hasn't been turned on in years, but... It should still work if we can get to the control chamber and reroute the power. Oh, I didn't like that place, Sipsy. It's scary in there. It doesn't matter how scary it is. If that's our way home, we're game. Well, in that case, I'll meet you by the entrance. It's not that, it's that big door directly north of Mumford. Can't miss it. Oh, and Jody, have this for helping Glyph. Hell you one. Ooh, machinist spellbook. Well, obviously we gotta give that to Jody. That's the wrong thing. Scrap cannon, scrap armor, scrap armor. Back. Okay, so this is probably the thing that uses all that scrap we've been collecting. Um, what well, was spell blade available? Allison can't have a spell book, of course. Um, well, shit. Yeah, we'll 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 do without the spell spell blade stuff. As useful as it was to be able to have elemental stuff on our melee. Melee fighter. <clears throat> new thing happened? Save. Went to a new area? Save. Can't remember if you just saved? Save. Got the door open for you. Go on in. Ipsy's waiting for you inside. Just be careful. It's really creepy in there. Hey, so good news. Looks like this teleporter is still in good condition. It just needs power. Whoever put this place clearly didn't want it to be easy to reroute the power, though. There are four switches in different rooms, and all of them need to be flipped at more or less the same time. You'll have to split up. Oh god, what is that smell? Does anyone else smell that? It smells like... mana? Is there some sort of gaseous mana leak in here? Oh, well, that was a hell of a sneeze. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Seems like it. I guess it doesn't bother me as much, since undead pretty much run entirely on mana. We should probably be careful about that. This place isn't particularly big, but might get worse further in. Claire, how dangerous is it to breathe in all that mana? I mean, it won't kill you, but it might make you feel sick. We should try not to stay in here for too long. I don't like this. Hey, you can borrow these walkie-talkies. Phones still aren't working, but short-range radios seem to be okay. Use these to stay in touch. It shouldn't take too long. Just head on in whenever you're ready. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay, time to split up. Everyone have a walkie-talkie? Yep. Let's find those switches. You gonna be okay doing this on your own, Mel? You've been on edge ever since our encounter with Jabus. Hmm. We've dealt with worse. Allison, this is nothing compared to everything else we've been through these last three days. That's the spirit. But still, if you run into trouble, just radio me, okay? Of course. Come on, let's head on in. Let's head on in. I'll see you soon. New. Gotta go fast. Um, 
Do I have to fight it? Oh. It just ran away? Hey, I got jumped by some feral robots over here. What about you three? Over. Yeah, I ran into a couple. Need any backup? Over. I'm okay, but I'll keep you posted. Over and out. I'm pro I feel like I'm going to regret not giving her a combat spell book. Ah, I tried to slip past it. Hopefully they all go away with one bat. Plink. Hmm. Very strange. Wait, is that a room full of them? What the hell? I wonder how there's feral robots. Uh, let's go left. Haven't I already been through here before? Ah, shit. Right, let's go left. Hold on, maybe there's a pattern I have to follow. Hmm. Left. Left. Up. Right. Down. Allison? Claire? Jody? Anyone there? I'm stuck in some sort of repeating room. Are you dealing with the same thing? Over. Come on, please respond. Please? Did their batteries die or something? Come on, I'm not seeing any difference in the room no matter where I go through. God, I can barely breathe with this mana gas everywhere. I need to retrace my steps and get some fresh air. Fuck. Um. Why do I feel like I'm being followed? Is someone there? Not very quick on the uptake there, huh? Gah! Okay, very funny. I get it now. This is yet another stupid trap from Jarvis. Good guess, but no. Uh, what? I'm you, Melody. I've been with you for a while. I used ju I used to just be a blob of magical energy floating around in the ether. No will of my own. No sentience. Then that blob of energy bumped into you, and became a manif manifestation of your thoughts, conscious or otherwise. Wait, I think I remember you. You were there when I got my magic, watching me. That's right. Speaking of that night, can we discuss the specialization you went with? It's been bugging me. I mean, come on. Amorous Paladin? Really? Well, at least you get that your whole life revolves around Allison. Have you been watching everything I do this whole time? Oh, relax, dummy. I'm only the voice in the back of your head that tries to give you advice. I just get to be a bit more upfront about it now. Sorry, but this whole mirror image thing is throwing me for a loop. Can you do something else? Ugh, fine. If it'll get you to listen to me for once, Never liked this half-assed paladin outfit anyway. Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a goth melody. We got a, we got a, we got a battle inversion of melody. Oh shit! Does this mean I'm gonna get my double jump? Better. And if you need a name for me, you can call me your Harmony. I wasn't planning on speaking up just yet, but you're just so boring, melody. I couldn't stand to watch you wander around helplessly in the dark like that. Seriously though, why are you so boring? You had no unique hobbies, no quirks, no personality of your own whatsoever. One time, when asked to list your dislikes for an online dating profile, you literally couldn't think of anything good, so you just put bad stuff. Now you're trying to make up for being an empty shell of a person by dating someone more interesting. You know you'd be nothing without Allison. That's why you've completely reinvented yourself to please her. I mean, 
Even down to the Amorous Paladin thing. It's almost impressive. Hey, back off. It's not like that. Yeah, I might not have my whole life figured out, but I'm working on that. I've only been a real paladin for a few days. And you'll be lucky if it lasts another day at this rate. Oh, you've been trying to act all tough, sure. Being all gung-ho about this mission. But it's just that. An act. Everyone can see right through it. Come on. Who do you think you are, Jody? Sorry, but you'll never be as good as her. You showed your true colors back when Claire asked you to go on this mission to hunt down Javis, though. Should have trusted that instinct. You couldn't even get your new powers the right way. You had to cheat. How's that going, hmm? Because to me, it seems like your decision to roleplay as a hero has just put everyone in danger. I guess that's what you get for trusting Claire. Even after the hell she's put you through, you keep giving her second chances. I couldn't believe you stood up for her like that back in the Neon Labyrinth. Look, are you just here to harass me? Because I don't need this right now. I'm stuck in a maze in the middle of nowhere, miles from home, while everyone I care about is in danger. Again, all your fault. Just want to drive that point home. Claire summoned those monsters to train your sorry ass, and Jarvis came along with them. Fine, let's just blame me for everything. What are you going to do next? Make fun of my weight or something? Let's just play all the hits. Nah, you're pretty comfortable with your body. Besides, I'm not here to bully you, Melody. I just want to help you. Help? This isn't help. You just want me to hate myself. You already do, Melody. That's why I exist. Oh, shut the hell up. I'm just trying to keep you from making even more stupid mistakes, Melody. But if I really wanted to get under your skin, I could bring up what Allison thinks of you. Don't go there. Oh, did I strike a nerve? You already know what I'm going to say, don't you? I don't want to hear it. Allison pities you. No, she doesn't. You've been trying to fight it. To turn yourself into someone you're not to keep her attention. But it's just reminding her of how pathetic you are. She coddles you constantly. She thinks you're this cute little pathetic thing who can't handle this life. And she's right, of course. Because deep down, Melody, you'll always just be that pathetic little kid Allison had to save from bullies. It's only a matter of time before she's tired of you. God, shut up! Shut up! What did I do to deserve this? Is this what I get for trying to be happy? Yep. Just get out of my head. Get out! You're right, okay? I'm an idiot. It's my fault we're in this mess. Everyone I care about is in danger because of this stupid stunt I pulled to feel good about myself. Oh my god. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna suffocate or get killed by robots in this stupid maze, and they're never going to find me. God, somebody help me. Help me get out of here. Please. I don't want to die in here. Melody! Melody, oh my god. Are you okay? Allison? Mel, we heard you shouting at someone over the walkie-talkies and came as fast as we could. What happened? I... I don't know. Mel, come on. I think you're having a panic attack. Deep breath through your nose, like you've practiced. I don't know if that's a good idea in here. What do you mean? I think Melody's suffering from some obscure type of mana poisoning. If her body still isn't used to the amount of mana I gave her, then all this ancient mana she's been breathing might be breathing in might be messing with her head. Crap, you're right. Mel, can you walk? I guess yeah, I can. Okay, good. Don't push yourself too hard. What about the work pad? We need to get back to Greenbridge. Everyone's in danger. No, it's fine. Itsy can trade places with you. We need to get you to safety. Come on, let's get her out of here. We'll watch her back on the way out, Melody. Short while later. Okay, we got the teleporter running with Ipsy's help. How are you holding up, Mel? Definitely better now that I've gotten some fresh air. Cliff was keeping me company outside. 
Turns out nine foot tall industrial robots don't give the most comfortable hugs, but it's the thought that counts. Is it weird that I feel better after crying? Uh, no. Uh, as I will always state, crying is vomiting for the soul. You always feel better afterwards. Nah, I think that's pretty normal. Do you want to talk about what happened in there, though? No, not really. Don't worry about it. Now come on, we've wasted enough time here. We need to get back to Green Ridge before it's too late. Are you sure you're up for that, Mel? Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Honest. I mean, we just got done with the labyrinth. And now this? We won't be at the top of our game if we're burnt out. Maybe we should let Claire and Jody go ahead with Neff or something. And we can catch up after... I said I'm fine, Allison. Okay, okay. Sorry. I'll go get the others then. Well, the warp pad's active. No idea where it'll take you, but it should be somewhere on the surface. Hopefully not too far from Green Ridge. Thank you Excuse me. Thank you so much for your help, Ipsy. I don't know what we would have done without you. No biggie. Not like I had anything better to do. I won't keep y'all any longer. I have a feeling we'll be seeing each other again soon anyway. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Here goes nothing. Hold on, Faith. We'll be there soon. Okay. Woo! That was a much longer act. Ugh. The beach. I never thought I'd be so happy to see the beach. Jody, you spend a lot of time on the beach. You recognize this part of the coast? I think I do. This is fantastic news. We should be close to home. Okay, enough chit-chat. We're on a time limit here. We've got to warn everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the save point? Give me a save point. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme save point. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme save. Save point. Ah! Toxic m and me and helper jellies. Oh no, the helper jellies have expanded. All right, I guess we have a few more combats before we get to we get to save. Wait, what am I doing? Kiss Allison. Um. Ooh, electric kicks hurts everyone. Good shit. Um, we will use frost on the jelly. Oh, they cost gears. Um, let me hold on to them for now. What did I just do? Frost, jelly, attack, jelly. Gotta kill the healer. Ah, oh, we almost one turned it. Here we heal up Claire. Um, let's just lightning kicks again because why not? Um, multi frost. Because I can, and we'll just attack a box of enemy. Dollar fifty four pissers, monster. Kill that, kill that, yeah, just everyone attack. Attack! Damn, that's some, that's some nice XP. Why is there not a save point right next to... Ah, oh, there we go. We're up to 66 kisses. 